All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I want to do is I want to take the time. This is going to be kind of like a follow-up video to a uh, video that I've done before. And I've had a lot of questions about this particular little video segment. Now, I'm going to try to make this very quick. I've already stripped my wires out. And as you see from the thumbnail, what this is about and the title, of course. And uh, so one thing that I've done is I took a single receptacle. I pulled that box out of the wall. I put a double gang, okay? What I'm going to do now is I had a lot of questions on how to make the pigtail correctly, how to jump the wires from the receptacle to the uh, wires, you know, just to make it all work. So instead of just trying to type it all out, this is going to be like a follow-up video. So hopefully if you found that video helpful, you'll find this and then you'll understand exactly what I'm trying to say. All right, so without further ado, let's jump on in here. I'm going to show you two different ways to get this done. Uh, the first one that I'm going to do is the way that I prefer. Now that is not code. And there's nothing that says, you know, you have to do it the way I'm doing it. There's several ways to do this, but I'm going to show you two ways. Uh, this first one I'm going to show you is the way that I prefer 110% every single time to do this. Uh, to me, it makes the most sense, and I'll explain why near the end of the video. So stick around, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in here and get this pigtail made. All right, so we're going to assume that this right here is the end of the line of the receptacle. Now, if this was not and you had a receptacle was going on, you would have another wire in here, okay, or maybe two other wires in here. I don't know what you have, but... Let's just say there was another wire in here, just exactly like this. Another black, another white, and another uh, ground. All you would do is you would take all your blacks together, all your whites together, and all your grounds together, and you would put your pigtails on them. But I'm assuming that, like my receptacle was in the line, so I'm going to show you exactly, or this receptacle is in the end of the line, I'm going to show you exactly what you do. So I'm going to pretend this was a single gang before, now it's a double gang. What we're going to do is we're going to take our wires and we're going to twist them. You always want to twist your wires. Never just put them under the wire net. I have another uh, video. It may have already came out. I'm not 100% sure. It says how to make the perfect wire joint. And you can watch that if you don't know how to make a good wire joint. And that's like that. Your grounds are done. Now, you just tuck these back in the boxes. And if you had another ground in here, you would put it under here too, just the same way. So you would still only have two wires sticking out of your box and two wires, there will be four wires total under this wire net rather than just three. All right, what I like to do is go ahead and push them back in. I always make your grounds up first. I think I've said that more than enough in my electrical videos. And I'll just take them and fold them up. Next will be your neutrals. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to just twist these wires together like so. This is the correct pigtail, guys. Like I said, I am gonna show you two different ones and this is my favorite. This is the way I would do it. Anywhere I'd ever go, this is the way I would do it, okay? Nothing too special about it. Just put it in and go. All right, and we will put this up there. And like I said, if there was another neutral in here, another wire, or even another two wires in here, uh, make sure they're receptacles, obviously. <laughs> so, and then you'll take your blacks. And if there was another black, you'd put it in here, you'd have four wires in here. But we have three because this is the end of the line. And if you don't know what I mean by end of the line, I mean it's literally the last receptacle on this circuit. And we will just twist these together, cut the excess off, and put us another wire nut on. Okay. Now, yes, these wires are long. This is scrap wire, so obviously if you were doing this and you were like, you know, electrician, or you didn't have a whole lot of wire, you wouldn't leave this much wire because this is going to be wasted, all of it. So we're going to go ahead and get one neutral, one gram, and one beer. Get that, no, that's on. One bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. So, all right. What we'll do is we'll take our hands, just like it, hand up against the box, and we'll cut it. Now, I'm going to strip with my clients. I don't recommend it, but just for the sake of the, the video, I'm just going to go ahead and strip with my clients because I can do that a lot quicker than getting a um, pair of strippers out here. All right, so what you'll do then is you will take your receptacles. You'll put the grounds on first. You'll just go ahead and you'll tighten them up, put the neutral on. Always do ground neutral hot. It's not anything that says code, it's just just be repetitive, do it always the same way, and you won't have to wonder if you did something right. 
ground neutral hot every single time. Your ground is green, your neutral is silver, and your hot is the copper or gold colored screw. And you'll just push them back in the box. We'll go ahead and screw this in. All right, do the same thing. We'll cut our excess off. And we'll make our little our little twisties on it. We'll put this one on, ground neutral hot. So on and so forth. Okay. So you'll just do the same thing. And we'll pretend to screw it in. And that's it. Now I'm gonna show you a different way real quick. So the other way that I think somebody was asking me about was if you have two receptacles and you have one wire, can you put the wires in between these screws and then put one wire, that wire, the main hot wire, on the other side and make it work? And yes, you can. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna take your wire and we're gonna start, you can't do it with the ground. You're gonna to have to make a joint on the ground, plain and simple, because the ground is only so long, there's only, and there's only one screw. So we'll go ahead and put our neutral on. You know, I know usually I tell you always grand neutral, all right, uh, this time you can't do that. So what we'll do, see I'm just putting the joint on, like so, okay. And you don't want a whole bunch if you're gonna do it like this. Like I said, I don't recommend this way. And I will tell you why in just a second, why I don't recommend it. I ain't gonna say you can't do it because, you know, people do it all the time and I've, I've seen people do it, but you can run into a lot of problems this way. Now, I keep saying I'm gonna tell you why, right? Let me tell you. I don't like them because you're gonna have two wires on each of these screws. And, you know, I'm not a firm believer in that. I like to have, uh, you know, my pigtails where if there was a problem, I could pull everything back out and I can see which one is loose rather than, you know, just, I don't know. To me, it just makes more sense to do it this way. Not this way, but the other way, the first way I showed you. But I'm gonna show you this way, like I said. And, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, a lot of people actually think this is this is a lot quicker, but you know, believe me, it's not. But I'm still gonna show you how, how to do it like that. We'll just take our wire and we will bend it. And we will put it on our hot, like so. All right. And we will screw it to it. And we're gonna do the same thing. Make our little piggy tail on it. Like this, like this, and we'll make our little hook, and we'll put it on, put it on like so, okay, like so. Now, like I said, you're going to have to make a joint on your, on your grounds for sure, because there's only one screw. So when you get over here to your receptacle, all right? What you're going to have to do, like I said before, you're going to have to make a pigtail on your ground. So we'll just take a piece of scrap wire and we will do it like so and cut it off. You'll take your wire, cut it on just a little bit, and we will make our joint like so, just like we did in the last one. We will put our wire nut on and we will stuff it back in the box. And what you're left with is this right here. So, we're gonna make our joints exact same length. I would strip with strippers if I were you, but I'm not for the sake of the speed of this video. Grounds on first. Tighten them up. All right. Now all we have to do now is you need you want to keep these very uh, the same way. So you don't want to get all these wires twisted up. So 
That's what it should look like when it's all done, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our neutral to either side you want. It doesn't really matter at this point. Flip it over. And we'll do our hots. Now, if I were you, you, of course, it doesn't really matter, but whatever side you put your neutral on, I would put the hot on that side so you know that, you know, that's basically where your power's coming in at. Nothing that says you have to. I'm just saying, that's what I would do if it were me. But I would never do this, believe me. I, I don't prefer this method. But when it's all said and done, when you close this up, you put all this in the box. At the end of the day, it's exactly the same thing. So just for a recap, there was one other question down there that I didn't address today, but I'm gonna go ahead and address it right now. So I think one more question was this. If one wire comes in that's hot and one wire is leaving the box that is not hot, can you put one that's hot on this receptacle and then one on that receptacle that's not hot? You cannot. It's gotta be pigtailed, like one of the two ways I just now showed you. That's the only way it will work, plain and simple. All right guys, that is it. Pretty cut and dry, right? If you like what you see, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or any ideas for any future videos, leave in the comments down below. You've already made it this far, so hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.